A Medford Schools kindergarten program on the rocks. The problem, funding. Now one business pledging help asking the community to band together. Newsom's Jenica Villamore has details. What's your favorite thing when you come Making here? Making stuff. She loves going. There's no doubt about it. Anaya Williams is one of two dozen kids staying after school at Jackson Elementary. And so far, it's not bad. I like to drink the chocolate milk and the candy cane. She gets activity, socialization. It gives her a better environment for her to learn in. Her mom says the after school program is a big help for her. She doesn't know what she would do without it. Good to know that my daughter is in a great place while I'm at school or at work and I don't have to worry about her not getting the teaching or the curriculum that she needs. Kids Unlimited started this kindergarten program a few months ago after budget cuts forced the school to cut its full day program in half. Our hope was to be able to offer them something so that as they got into first grade that they had the skills necessary to be successful. And you get to write the alphabet. The program provides a full day of class and focuses on reading. Kids Unlimited director Tom Cole says none of the parents can afford it, so it's free. It's really important that we increase the number of hours that students get uh, access to learning as opposed to decreasing. But it's expensive and the organization just can't keep up. To have these programs cut, particularly where they're needed the most is just tragic. Now Premier West Bank is stepping in to help, donating $2,300, enough to keep the program running another month. For us, it's the most important thing we can do is help the kids in our community. Pretty wonderful news, which shows a lot of leadership on their part. And the business is challenging you to do the same. Give a little bit, even if it's one month or two weeks worth of funding for this program. It'll make a difference to these kids in a big way. For now, students like Anaya will keep on learning, while program leaders and parents hope to hang on. They don't get enough teaching for two and a half hours of school. I was very grateful for getting the opportunity to have her to go into that program. Covering your news in Medford, Jenica Villamore, News 10. Right now, Kids Unlimited has enough money to run the program for the rest of the school year, but that's it. If you'd like to help, you can get information at KTVL.com.